Good morning. Let's make a quick video on some fuel. Storing some fuel. That's the way I do it. You do it your way. But here's how I do it. So I've got these drums. This drum right here. And what I'll do is, is I'll, I'll fill it up. Okay? Then I'll use it. There's two ways to do it. You can, you can fill it up and leave it alone. And six months later, start using it. Get, get it going. And then refill it back up six months later. Reuse it again. Okay? Or... You can keep it full all the time, which is fill it up, fill your pickup up and your wife's pickup up, and then refill the tank. Keep fresh fuel on it all the time. You can do that too, just keeping it fresh all the time, moving it around, you know. And so there's one way to do it. And then if if in if in time, you know, it's a good idea to have a little fuel in case in case times do get get rough and you know things happen, right? Maybe you lose your job or you get hurt, like a year and a year a year ago in one month. I was down, down bad. I was down for a while. Couldn't move hardly. Had to use a walker to move around. Had a real bad cut in my legs, so fell off the barn and onto a T-post on my leg. So it's healed up good, good and all that. Thank God. And Mom and them dressed me up real good. So, but having the fuel was good insurance for for them and for also for me to be able to you know move around and do what we got to do. So it's not a it's not a bad idea. Also. Uh, also you could, also you could use some of this, like, like I would, I'm not going to use this period at all. I mean, I'm just going to keep it rotated or keep it fresh. Right. Uh, but if, if I could never go back to the, to the store and get my fuel anymore, yeah, this is getting dumped in and to preserve it. So you could do that. Um, you just got to make sure to put a cork in it. You know, they come, they come with a little screw on thing, but let take this right here. It's got a little water in it. And I cork it. You want to keep it out of the heat, out of the sun, because it'll evaporate it. And you don't want that. You want to lose lose your hard-earned money. So there's a quick uh, quick deal about a fuel storage. This is the way I do it. It's not, you know, official storage container and all that. But, hey, it's what I do. You do what you want to do on it. I'm just giving you some ideas. But, uh it's 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 a good idea to pre-position some fuel for a rainy day in case you need it. Times get hard or whatever, uh, you get hurt and you'll have fuel to move around with, and maybe not the money, you know. But you've already put the money in the fuel. So we're gonna get this top back off and uh keep it topped off. That's gonna be my game. Keep it topped off when we need fuel, we'll fill it up. So a fifty-five gallon drum of fuel, that's not a bunch. I mean, if you think about it, Mama Suburban over there in my truck, boom, that thing is toast. If we're both empty, that sucker's gone. So, but but as far as, you know, if you're using it just for a chainsaw and a log splitter, shoot, two or three years worth of fuel in there, isn't there? Uh, you know, or a tiller to, to keep the garden rolling. So fuel fuel's a good idea. It's 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 even propane right there. Propane, you got to keep it topped off too. I've got four empties. So I'll keep them full. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, but the fuel, you know, you can store it. You can just store it in these if you'd like. In these little, you know, fuel containers. But even in that, I'm telling you, if, if it's hot or or if, if you don't have the, the cap for this or the cap for this side, evaporation, you'll think, man, who stole my fuel? No, that sucker, the sun got it, you know, and it just evaporated bye-bye. So it, it will. I mean, it won't all go bye-bye, but it, it'll be it'll be not as full as when you made it full. So anyway, just a thought. If you won't do it, don't, don't, don't do it. Who cares, right? Whatever. Either way, don't matter. I'm going to put some fuel back. And don't, don't hurt to put a little fuel back. So that 55-gallon drum, we're going to keep it full and, uh, uh, you know, use it when we need it. Okay?